Hello, in this video, I am going to help you prepare for the user authentication troubleshooting super badge unit. And the way that we're going to do that is try to break down the information in this unit into user stories and tasks. This is a continuation of this series. If you have not yet seen the first video in this playlist, please go check it out. That's where I explain what user stories and tasks are. And then here are how I broke out the user stories and tasks for this unit. But first, the use case, really complicated here, folks. You can address common issues. Like, that's it. That simple. First challenge, the case of the new user. So this is, I wrote as a new user, I want to log in with the Salesforce Authenticator app so I can securely log in. All you're gonna do here is just like log in as Sally and you're gonna pretend your mobile device is Sally's um, and you should already have the Salesforce Authenticator app installed. This is really easy. It's all cool. You got this. Um, I say that it's easy. It's easy if you've done it, but, but by this point, I think you probably have already done this sort of thing before, but like, don't overthink it. That's my main point here. Of course, you've already had to like do the pre-work of signing up for the special org specifically for this unit. So make sure you do that first. That's challenge one. Challenge two is the case of the broken single sign-on configuration. You need to as identify what's broken. Um, so you're going to look at Gabe's configuration and test it using Malcolm's doors user to see if you can figure out what's causing the login attempts to fail. This one's a little bit more complicated. Once you've successfully logged in with the Axiom IDP as Malcolm, you can hand the project back over to Gabe. That just, there's no task there. It just, you have to log in. That's the main thing. And you should use the incognito browser when logging in as Malcolm. And that's challenge two. Challenge three is the case of the stolen phone. As an admin, um, you want to give a secure person's lost phone and give them access so the user can log in. Make sure the potential bad actors are unable to log in with Sally's current password. You're going to allow Sally an alternate option to verify and make sure it only lasts for eight hours. I found these three articles, uh, manage user passwords, disconnect a user's verification method, and generate a temporary identity verification code. Exceedingly helpful to complete this last challenge. So those are linked in my description below. And with that, you are finished with this unit. I hope this video series has been helpful for you. Um, hopefully you've gotten a bit of a perspective on how you could take user stories and tasks, how you could write user stories differently, depending on the situation, depending on where you're at. This is a like, great life skill to have when you are working in a technical environment where you have projects to do and need to break things down in simple, easy to follow ways. Um, so I hope you now have a bunch of shiny new badges on your profile and some awesome skills in your hip pocket that you'll be able to use throughout the rest of your career. Thanks so much for letting me be a little part of your journey in learning Salesforce and Trailhead. It's been great spending time with you. Until next time, thanks so much.